All right, we're back for part two, and Super Gay Seal is ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Yeah, Lex designed that to fit under his many human hair wigs. Uh. <laughs> my Aunt Astra and her husband turned all of humanity into mindless zombies in less than a second. If there's one weapon- I remember that, and I remember she was at CatCo, and she saved Cat Grant, or something, or James was jumping off of the- I this room I could destroy, it would be that one. She gonna take oh. it. This could be the ticket. It's designed for evil, but perhaps we can use it for some good. Nothing's happening yet between them, but I sense it coming. <sighs> Truly and absolutely. Yeah. Wait, what? What did he just do? Post Tuesday, croissant, Pilates, mini. Leviathan headquarters are in National City. Huh? <laughs> that was so weird. You know, I know I said that I really wanted to get back to work, but this is so much better. I really... Mm, my children. You know, being with you, it's like home. What happened to her? Where is she looking? And so I pushed past my fears, and I convinced myself that I can handle it all. Mm, are they about to... They're not going to break up. Right? And I'm not that strong. And I would never ask you to change or ask you to deny the amazing and and brave woman that you are. Kelly, what? Oh, they're breaking up. Oh dear. <laughs> Hold on. I wait a second. Oh no. What are you saying? I, I can't I can't. Leviathan. I think I have their location. Dude! I must leave immediately. Please go. Um maybe we should talk about this. What the heck, man? They're fine. I mean, it's just as bad because you still care about her. Like, it's not like she's, I don't know. She's still gonna be in danger no matter what. Breaking up with her is only gonna- This is it? Choosing an unobtrusive structure is how Leviathan keeps their base a secret. This is a fact-finding mission, so please just be cool. Be cool. I am cool. You see, I chose this coffee shop because of its close proximity to National City's ancient tower pits, a site of great importance in history, but also a site of terrible eruption. You see, just I believe Leviathan has picked this building for the very same reason. Okay, wow, there's a lot of stuff happening here, a lot of backstory, a lot of context to this one. Don't push it yet. Okay, well. Be here, get the girl ready. So he's here, they're at Leviathan. And I'm super girl. Me? Bitch. I'm just peeved you didn't knock. Okay, that was bad. That was a bad line. She's never had a good one-liner, I feel. If there was a good Supergirl one-liner, please comment that Supergirl one-liner because I don't think there's ever been a good one. You idiots. Let's get out of here. Ow. Is Lena gonna come in and save the day? That was a pretty good one. <laughs> about me? Yes, queen. This is double teaming it right now. That was prime teamwork. Lena. Where'd she go though? Lena. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen now. Oh, it happened. Oh my god. I never used you. Do you remember when you finally told me you were super cool? It happened like six weeks ago, so yeah, we remember. You were weeping. Big crocodile tears. Bitter tears for you weeks before. What? Oh my god, bitter. Jesus Christ. Oh, because she already knew, but Cara doesn't know that she already knew. Oh my god. And she's saying that she wept bitter tears for Kara. Okay. I found out the day I killed Pepper. Yeah, you didn't kill Lex. I, that was me. I, nope, I shot him. I watched him. I did, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh god. It's impossible that my best friend, that every friend I had was lying to me. With his dying breath, he told me that you were Supergirl. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, this is 
heavy shit. I promised myself that I would never trust anyone again, and then I met you. Oh my god. And you chipped away at my armor with your warmth and your earnestness, and you convinced me. And your cute little face and hair and everything. <laughs> oh my god. Your puppy dog eyes, Kara. All the while, telling you about my Achilles heel. Betrayal? Mm hmm. Lied to you and betray you. Oh my god, this is like, this is like lovers right now. This is a. She is in so much pain over this. Begging you not to prove that once again that I was a fool. Oh god. You reassured me that nauseam that you would never lie to me, that you never hurt me. And then you did. Honest moment in our friendship. No, no, that is not true. No, I killed my brother. Why did you come to me right away so I could explode? <laughs> oh my god, this is like the most emotional thing I've ever seen between these two. Oh my god. Why pretend to still be my friend this long? Because I wanted you to experience what you did to me. God, if they don't what I felt. If they don't make up this season, if they don't actually like get better, I swear to God. How is she going to get back to National City? That's going to be an awkward flight home. <laughs> oh, man. I understand. I made the biggest mistake of my life, but please, Lena, please don't. Get on your knees and beg for forgiveness, Kara. Literally do it. The fortress of Marriott, please. Did you leave no room fortress defenses to attack me? I rigged it to answer to the single button I have in my hand. Bitch, oh my god. Oh. oh, the way that she said that was so sad. Not a villain. You shouldn't have treated me like one. Oh, baby. Oh, that's how she's gonna get home. Oh my God, how is she gonna get out of there? This is so intense. I'm so sad. You hid me away. Banish me. I was afraid of you. But not anymore. And we were so wrong. Water under the bridge now, bud. Sorry about that. I destroyed my honor. I so brother. I beg your forgiveness. This is what Kara should have done in the, in the fortress to Lena. This is what I mean. Myself. You hand yourself over to me. I will. With pleasure. Dun 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 dun. Right before I kill you. All right. I'm willing to risk everything. My soul and my mind. Ah, it was that easy, was it? Everything's fine now. He is not going to survive this season. He is dead for sure. Ah, oh, well, for now it's okay. So they are not broken up. You lost your fiance, and I can't even begin to imagine losing someone that you love in that way. In that way. I was gonna say, she's gotta differentiate because same thing happened to her, but Maggie didn't die. I wonder if they still text. So, I wanna help you heal. I wanna be with you and face down your fears and do it together. So they're not breaking up? <laughs> So we have hope in this relationship still, right? They're in it for the long run. I meant it when I said that you feel like home. Do you feel like home too? Oh, they're so sweet. And Kara's just still there. <laughs> Someone go get her out. Okay, she's still in there. Oh my God. We knew it was coming. We knew it was coming and there it was. That hurt my soul a lot. That was the bubbling over that I was anticipating. And I mean, how do you like come back from something like that? Like what is the circumstances in which they can start to make amends? I kind of don't see that there's gonna be any progress between them during the crossover because then she's gonna be like doing a whole different thing with different people. I just don't anticipate us getting any resolutions in the near future because of the crossover. But I think actually that the 
the next episode is still the episode before the first episode of the crossover, episode nine. And 10 is the first episode of the crossover, maybe. So maybe in the next episode, we'll get some kind of resolution. I feel like we just gotta wait it out this season just to see what's gonna happen between them. I'm loving the Alex and Kelly storyline. Still wish they would flesh Kelly out a little bit more, but you know, we're starting to see like a little bit more of her and her personality and her her character. The brother storyline, like that's very nice that they reconciled. I don't think that Malefic is gonna survive this season. I think it's gonna be a lot like it was when Marin showed up and he was around for a while and then they had nothing else to do with him besides just, you know, they don't, they can't really utilize unless Malefic were to join the like super team somehow, but I think that he's pretty much destined to get written off and they don't really keep villains around even if they do come back from it a la Sam slash Rain. We haven't seen her, even though she did end up coming back from that that brink. But in any case, um, Leviathan, we're, I guess we're starting to see like more of what that is. And now we know what this guy is, Rama Khan, who is, is this ancient Gaborum-esque alien who is a cross between ancient alien slash Avatar The Last Airbender, Earthbender. But yeah, super exciting stuff coming up into the crossover again. Don't know what the context of the crossover is beyond like what I'm seeing in Supergirl. So it's gonna be interesting to see like, I'm glad that Supergirl is starting the first episode of the crossover because it's the only show that I watch out of all the shows that are part of the crossover. Let's just say that except for Legends, which we haven't seen in a long time. So, you know, getting some context, some good context before. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please follow me on Twitter to see all the Twitter stuffs that are happening and subscribe to this channel for more. Check out my Patreon. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me and I will see you guys back here for Supergirl episode eight.